Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday Earth Master stepping in real quick with a quick update here. 1.35 p.m. California time, November 25th, 2024 is the date. Uh, jumping in here with a quick update on some earthquake activity here on the San Andreas Fault. Now, this is directly on the southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault. And in an area that uh, it's, it's quite rare to see any type of, of swarming activity out here. Uh, and we're starting to get a little sequence of events here. Uh, earlier this morning, it started with a 1.3, 3.2, 2.7, and a couple other earthquakes in here as well. Again, that is on the San Andreas Fault here, or maybe just right off of it. Uh, but it is in a location that hardly sees any earthquake activity here. In fact, if you go back, um, I went back all the way to the first of this year, um, showing the earthquake activity. Obviously, south here, uh, off on the Brawley seismic zone, but specifically on the San Andreas Fault here, uh, it's quite rare uh, to see some earthquake activity out there, um, as history has shown us here, you know, at least in terms of uh, a little swarm going on. In fact, only three earthquakes within today's swarming area of uh looks like a 1.9 and a couple other small ones in there throughout the year but got a little sequence of events stirring up out there now whether this is going to turn into something bigger or not uh we'll have to watch but it is in an area that gets me super nervous here because this area is locked and loaded and ready for an 8.1 earthquake now this is well within the range of a triggering zone this is right on it um, so we got to watch this pretty closely, not trying to alarm anybody, but uh, it is, uh, you know, I haven't seen anything specifically like this right on the San Andreas Fault here. We've seen uh, a number of swarms south here along the Brawley Seismic Zone, and of course, I even get nervous when that happens down there, but this is more directly on it. Uh, a couple other earthquakes up north here as well within the last hour. Uh, another further up north earthquake on the San Andreas Fault as well, 1.2. Uh, but we're watching this closely here. Not a significant swarm, not a big, large magnitude earthquake, but, you know, these could be foreshocks here to something much bigger. You don't want to mess around with the San Andreas Fault here. This area has not seen uh, any large rupture in over 300 years. So you got to remember how much strain is built up here across the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault and you know anything something like this could trigger it uh, you get you know it's it's right on there uh, you get people like dr lucy jones and other seismologists around the globe saying you know that um, uh, the triggering zone right in order to trigger a larger event has to be within a mile or two uh, or a couple miles there within a major fault system and this is you know i think this qualifies for it you know they were talking about maybe seeing a bigger one uh, along the San Andreas Fault when we had a swarm down here. Very close. L literally within, uh, it was like four miles here south of the San Andreas Fault on the Brawley Seismic Zone. And nothing became of it, but it uh, got some geologists there a little nervous. Uh, and that's been a couple years ago. But now we got a swarm right smack dab on it. And as I showed you guys here, not, uh, not active. Normally we don't see a lot of earthquake activity out there. And there's a reason why, right? It's so it's it's uh it's pretty well wound up about as tight as you can get here. And to only have three earthquakes here in the last, you know, what, eleven months now, prior to the swarm here, that tells us that we got something going on. We gotta watch that pretty closely. And you you mix in all the activity we've seen here recently across Southern California, all around the area. That has come to, you know, somewhat of a, a halt. Uh, but after a couple months, there have elevated seismic activity all over the place in a swarm fashion. And now we got, uh, you know, a swarm right there on the southern branch. That's something to watch pretty closely. Again, don't want to alarm anybody. Not fear mongering. But it is right there. You know, you can't, you can't get any closer there. So we got to watch this pretty closely. Um, there is a seismograph station here. China Lake, I believe, is the station... Uh, that's picking up some of that activity. Uh, again, the latest one is a 2.0. The largest one so far, a 3.2. 
We'll continue to watch this, of course, and report back on anything that changes around the area.